Hi, I'm Kat, and for today's video, I'm going to do my five star predictions. So, if you don't know what that means, it means that I'm going to show you some books that are on my shelf that I haven't read yet, and that I think I will love them so much that I will give them five stars. I'll obviously do a follow-up video where I tell you if my predictions were right, but I'll explain one by one why I think I'll give them five stars. And let's start with one which I think will be a no-brainer, which is Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. Now, I think it is impossible for me to give this book anything less than a five star. Cassandra Clare is one of my favorite writers. She is the queen of finales. I haven't read one finale of hers where I haven't cried, where I haven't smiled, where I haven't made a fool of myself because I was so into the story. So this is the third book in her Dark Artifices trilogy. She can do no wrong, she is queen of finales, and I cannot wait. This is a huge book, and that is part of the reason why I haven't picked it up yet, but I am looking forward to doing the follow-up video where I tell you that, yeah, I loved it, what else is new? Next up, we have a different one, which is The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. If you don't know, this is historical fiction, and I have to say that I don't read a lot of historical fiction. Some I've read I have enjoyed, but it's not a genre that I really gravitate towards. That being said, Everybody loves this book, and it is a book about loving books, from what I understand. Supposedly there is a library of, I think it's forgotten books or something like that, and some people are in charge of protecting it. It's one of those books that is always described as being perfect for book lovers, and I am a book lover. Everybody says that it is beautifully written, everybody says that they cried, so I'm really excited to pick this up. Going back to authors who I already know and love, we have Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead. I have read Vampire Academy, which was the first series from this world and I loved it. The first three books were okay, I enjoyed them, but they weren't like top-notch and then the following three novels were all five stars favorites so I can't expect greatness from the series especially because it focuses on Adrian who is my favorite I cannot wait to see him again I think I'm going to enjoy this I already know that I enjoy Rochelle Mead's writing style, you fly through it. She is very funny in her writing. I love the way that she creates her characters. So once again, what could possibly go wrong? This is a bit of a gamble because it's Circe by Madeline Miller. I have read another book from this author. I have read The Song of Achilles and I gave that book three stars. I loved the writing style, but the story focused too much for my liking on the war aspect and it got to a point where it was a bit repetitive and boring for me. So I'm hoping and expecting that this will be different. I don't think we will have a war aspect to this book and from what I hear, it is a little bit episodical. So we have this main character, Cersei, that we follow through some time in her life. I love when we just see the character and explore the character and not really a lot is going on. I enjoy that. I don't know why. I have this feeling that this book is meant to be read during the summer months. So I took it on holiday with me last year still haven't read it, but I think this will be the year that I do, and I just, I just think I'm going to love it. Then we have a 
kind of classic. This is Tropic of Capricorn by Henry Miller. I don't think this is a classic classic. It'll probably be considered a modern classic. And I do have sometimes this urge to read classics. I'm not one of those people who thinks that all classics are boring, that don't find them interesting. I really do. I have already read the first pages and just from those I have already underlined so much that I cannot imagine that this book will disappoint me. And finally we come to the last book from this video of my five star predictions which is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. Once again an author I know I love and I've loved everything I've read from her so the possibility and the probability of me not liking this is slim to none. She is an assassin that the king is trying to do some sort of tournament and she will participate in it if I'm not mistaken but overall I, I managed to do the most stupid spoilers to myself which is I know the relationships, I know who this character ends up with, I know who the other characters in the series end up with but I actually don't know the plot at all. I know nothing of what is happening in this series. So it'll be a good surprise, I'm hoping. And yeah, from my unread shelf, those are some of my five star predictions. And I am very excited. I actually made it a mission to only pick up books which I am planning to read in the near future because I have some others that I think I'm going to enjoy, probably give five stars to but I'm not really feeling the call to read them just yet. Please tell me down below in the comments if you've read any of these books, what you thought of them. And yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!